we are going to the museum. It's just because we got free admission tickets. It's not going to be free after today, so. I'm wearing my All Saints sweater. Ah, now I'm excited. Now I'm really excited to go. Let's go. Someday I'll find a home. The picture in my mind. A place where I can go. You should be wrecking those boots. So much snot on my mask right now. A big pattern. What's your spirit animal? A horse. Actually, a horse is your spirit because you're home like a horse. Ladies <laughs> fashion. So cool. This exhibition is about parachute. It's a Montreal brand in the 80s. I don't know anything about it, so. But look at those pants. If my corduroy is not like this, I don't want it. I would wear that. I know you would. You know what this reminds me of? Ash versus Evil Dead. That's the outfit he was wearing with his chainsaw hand, remember? Same outfit. Thank you. Nice look. Which one's your type? Mine is... Mine is... Mine is that one. Maybe. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> mine is that one. Mine is that one. No. <laughs> is that me? Same haircut. Yeah. No, that's me. Same pants. This room is so cool. It's hypnotizing you to be straight. Yeah. Doesn't work. Does it? <laughs> Low key, this exhibition reminds me of like those videos you would sometimes run into on Pornhub where it's like sissy hypno video where you turn into like a sissy. I'm sorry, was that too much for you two? Look babe, behind you is a Narnia closet. Wanna go explore another world? I don't wanna go back into the closet. <laughs> Actually, maybe I do. My favorite part of the museum. Little gift shops mm -hmm. where you bought useless trinkets. No. <laughs> we need some artwork in our apartment, yo. Our apartment is so empty. Look at it. Don't you want this? No? What about this? Not exactly, no. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, actually. Should we get it? My grandfather made me one when I was a kid. Like a real one that you can ride? Made of wood, yeah. Really? That's a wall. Where can we put this? It's a black stallion. It's hung like a horse, because you're hung. Look, it's a bunny in a hoodie. I'm gonna get this. It's so cute. It's $14. Max, you should find an art that speaks to you as well. Find something. Like, is that a moose? You can use it as a belt, or you can use it as like an accessory on the shoulder. <laughs> is that cool? Is it supposed to be like representing bullet? They look like bullets. You're the Terminator. Do you want my leather jacket so that you look like the Terminator? <laughs> look babe, they made pillow about the metro station in Montreal. Those are seats. Those are like the decor in different metro stations. It feels so much real. Yeah. You want a graphic novel? Yeah. What's this one about? Leonard Cohen. Mm. Thank you. Yay. Next time we can visit another museum. There's a ton in Montreal that I haven't seen yet. I'm glad we got to go for free. Short and sweet <laughs> like you. I'm 5'8". <laughs> You're literally 5'7". Fuck off, I'm 5'11", bitch. <laughs> We're at cost. I'm gonna go get my hoodie. <laughs> Again. See you soon. I was just gonna get in and get the hoodie, but I found these and I need to try them on. This, look at this fabric. And then look at this. They're both for women's, but who cares? Who cares? Let's try them. Oh my God, it's so cool. I mean, this one's too small. I think if I were to wear a size small, this one would be so cute. What do you think? It's so cute, actually. It's so cute. <laughs> so what did you get? 
I got a hoodie and I got one more thing. I'll show you at home, but it's super cute. Comfort soup. <laughs> howdy, howdy, everybody. I have a couple things that I got these past two weeks. I'm gonna start with what I got from Koss. Lovely beige woman. And look, look at this. This is the way I shop these days, which is not it's not the most sustainable way to shop. I, I go I go to a store, I sift through the racks, and then something catches my eye. I think to myself, would I take this to a trip to Europe? If the answer is no, I put it back. So I, I, I saw myself wearing this somewhere in Europe. Don't know which country. It's this boucle. Boucle fabric, is that how you say it? Boucle fabric. Very, very soft. Uh, you can tell the material is just up there with Jesus. And the hoodie. I love this hoodie for a number of reasons. The main reason is because this hood is ginormous. I don't have like a giant head, but when my hair grows long enough, I have a giant hair. The fit is boxy, which is awesome because I hate when my hoodie is longer than it is wider. I prefer when it is wider. It just looks cooler. Like proportion wise, it makes your legs kind of look longer. Maybe. I'm gonna wear this a lot. At the airport, at home, on the beach. So an orgy, that was, forget I said that. Okay, on to the next thing. I got a couple things from Essence. If you guys don't know about Essence, it's this luxury designer website and they have these huge sales twice a year and they're always incredible. First thing I got is uh, jewelry. It's a piece of bracelet. It's this cute little pearl moment. This is my thing about jewelry, okay? Usually when jewelries are gifted to me, those are the kind of jewelry that I will wear for a very long time that I will never take off. Usually jewelry that I buy for myself, I don't end up wearing that much. This is the first piece of jewelry that I bought for myself for in a very long time and it wasn't that expensive either. I think with the discount was $45 and it's just so cool and very on trend because pearls are everywhere. I'm actually gonna wear it right now because it, it matches my outfit really, really well. Okay, my hand, my hand's a little wet for my booger, so I can't, I can't put that on right now. But I'll put it on later to show you. I promise. And then I got this T-shirt, which Max hated, but I loved. I don't wear a lot of graphic tees, but this one just spoke to me for I don't know why this spoke to me. It's such a random graphic, but what a fun, what a fun oversized summer T-shirt. This with shorts with a pair of baggy jeans and a cool pair of sneakers. And I'm good to go. It's a good t-shirt to bait Gen Z's into thinking that I'm one of them. The last thing I got is this pair of jeans. I've been looking for this exact shade of jean with this exact stitching. It's from this brand, Norse Projects. This is my first ever piece from them. This is what I love about the sale too. You find just the most random brands that you've never heard of from random designers, big and small. This one's from a brand called Braindead. Never heard of them, but now I love them. Norse Projects. Love. It's a classic slim fit pair of jeans. I like to wear it with this kind of folded up. It's way too long for me, but I love how baggy it is. And it's my size, so I don't need to do the weird scarf thing, which is awesome. And the last thing I got is a gift. This is not something that I purchased with my money. I mean, that's what a gift is. I don't know why I had to define that. They're, they're a, 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 a naughty playtime brand is, is how I'm going to define it. The first thing they got me is this collar, a naughty collar, and it says Max and Yas. I'm not gonna put it on now. And um, it also comes with, with a leash. <laughs> For the collar for playtime. It came with this lovely illustration of this um, uh, girl being being spanked. She probably deserved it. <laughs> yes. It's a paddle and it does say bitch. The rest of the things I need to figure out how to 
use, like how to wear them, because there are a lot of components to this. But I'm pretty sure this is to like, you know, strap you up and pin you down. If you guys are interested in looking into this brand, they're called Upco. This is not sponsored by the way, they just sent this to us as a gift. There's a link in the description and they also gave us a lovely discount code for our subscribers. Go look into it. We're finally gonna make the pork katsu with curry. Here's an egg. Another TikTok recipe. A little spoon of flour. Mix. Pepper. Dip it in egg. Ooh. Double dip. Ooh. I hate the texture of raw pork. <laughs> you, you don't like the texture of raw meat? Shut up. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> Bro, that's insane. This deserves like an Instagram post, you know? <laughs> Get in my belly! Mmm, mm, so fucking good. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> this was a success. Oh my god. We should have this once a week. Plus, it's so easy to make. So easy. Comfort food for me. Yeah, right? This food cheer me up. You might have noticed that. Brutus is not here right now. About two weeks ago, he was diagnosed with cancer. I can't remember what the name cancer was called, but it's like something complicated. I'll put it here. And we were so confused. We didn't know what to do. We want to gather all the information we can before we share it with you guys. We finally made a decision. We went to see an oncologist and we finally decided on the, op the best option for Brutus was to get him through surgery. So yesterday he went through the procedure and they removed four tumor. And the surgeon called us back saying that the surgery was a success and it went the best way possible that he could have imagined. And if everything goes well, we should be able to get him back tomorrow. And of course the next two weeks might be a bit difficult because he's gonna be in recovery uh, with a cone on his head. He won't be able to play too much because we make we need to make sure that everything heals. But we're gonna spoil him so much and we just wanna give him a lot of big hugs and pets. We want to give him the best chance possible with like the least amount of stress and pain on him. So hopefully we make the right decision, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna go well, baby. You'll be fine, buddy. I'm sure Brutus is a tough boy and I'm sure he's gonna kick cancer's ass. We want what's best for him and we hope that we have many more years with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on that note, thank you for tuning in on this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week. I know I enjoyed you. Someday Bye. I'll find a In my mind, a place where I can.